Bonjour French ladies, it's Marianne Lecoeur and today in this video I am going to show you how you can style this printed midi length dress in various ways to go from frumpy to chic. <laughs> If you are new to my channel, a big welcome to you. Please subscribe, click on that little bell in order to receive the notifications and please share this video to your many friends. Thank you. First of all, let's talk about this dress. It is from Banana Republic. It has a crew neckline, it is fitted at the waistline, long sleeves and, you know, uh, midi length, but really even longer than midi length. It is quite a long dress. So if you are a petite, I would not advise you to pick that dress unless they have it as petite, but I don't think they have because it's so long that it would really overwhelm your silhouette. But if you are an average size or tall, you can wear this type of dress. My height is 1 meter 68, so, you know, this goes uh, almost to my ankles. You can see how long this dress is. So you have to be careful. And that is my first advice. Always have a look at the effect on the dress, the length and the hemline in this case, you know, with your height. So first of all, let me show you this dress. You can see if I wore, if I wore this dress with these flats, as we know, new good with everything. I keep telling you this. But, uh, you know, sometime, depending on the heel, it can make things a little bit frumpy, a little bit mumsy, um, and maybe something that may be even aging. So look at the mirror, look at yourself in the mirror and have a look. So I think you know, this dress with these you know, go well because the nude color doesn't clash, does not clash with the dress. But I think that, now look at myself in the mirror, I think it looks a little bit Mumsy. I won't say frumpy, but I think it looks a little bit mumsy. Okay, so I want you to take you today from let's say this look is frumpy. I, you know, if you have those kind of a thick sandals that they do at the moment, and you have them on black, let's say, because you have some black here, so you think okay, black's gonna go. That would really look frumpy. There's nothing here. To the the dress is not styled at all, as you can see. I have not styled the dress. The dress is like this. Something I really like about this dress is this. See the split at the front. So that gives it a little bit of a sexy, um, you know, sexy vibe. It is not as, you know, if it were, if there was no split here, you know, it could be a little bit more mumsy. But with this, I like the sexy vibe, okay? So have a look in your wardrobe. Have you got something like that, such a dress that you don't quite know how to style. You think it's a little bit frumpy, a little bit mumsy, a little bit old fashioned maybe. Have a look, you know, put it out. This one is printed, so we'll talk about, you know, um, this dress as a printed dress. But of course, you, do you have something in one solid color, you know? Um, you know, if you haven't got any and if you wanted, you know, to buy one, uh, that could work as well. Have a look at this video, so, you know, to give you ideas to style it. Okay, something, so look at yourself in the mirror, have a look at your shoes, okay? So I'm wearing these, as we're talking. So I think it needs heels, okay? So that's something that's an easy fix. You just buy the right pair of shoe, it will give a new dimension to the dress, okay? And I will demonstrate that to you in this video. Okay, first of all, before heels, I wanted to show you those flats, you know, the dress is red, and you may think, oh, this dress is dress, I've got red ballet flat, that's great, that could go. Bon, something with red, um, you know, red can be very difficult to match. If you have not got the two same red, it does not look good, especially the red, you know, the hemline is so close to the shoes, so you would see a big disparity in color and it won't look good. In this case, uh, the ballet flats are really dark red, whereas this dress is a bright red. It's more like a, almost an orangey red, not an orange red, but it could almost be more on this, you know, um, on this shade than the dark, than the ballet flats. So be careful trying to match two reds, you know. I don't think that goes well together at all, okay. You could try with black ballet flats. Uh, again, you know, it goes, 
but does it really style this dress into something that, oh wow, that looks great, you know, stylish. Um, so this is what we're going to see. Now, on to heels. Okay, black cord shoes, okay. The print has white and has black. So this is a no-brainer. To accessorize something, always pick the colors that you have in the print, okay. Do not bring in other uh, colors because that would make a look too busy for French chic, okay? So, again, you know, you put heels on and you've got a little split here, gives it a bit sexy vibe, yeah? Look at yourself in the mirror and that works, okay? But I find, mm, I think we can do better, okay? We can do better. So let's have a look at another pair. And I have just a pair here, those nude courts. So here they are. I think, you know, so look at yourself in the mirror again, you know, full length mirror, you need to have a full length mirror. We've had this conversation together before. So again, with the hairs, it elongates the legs, um, or the leg in this case, you know, it really creates a long silhouette. Okay, think about that. This dress suddenly, with only one little change, this is what I wanted to show you. I didn't want to show you all the, you know, different ways with this, with that, and the other. One thing, look, just this pair of shoes. And I'm going to show you something even better in a minute. But looks, look like this, that works. You see the dress and you see your legs, okay? So look at how long the silhouette is now. It's much longer. It's not so much up like this, okay? The thing as well, when you wear heels, you stand differently, okay? You, you curve the back a bit more, you bring your shoulders back a little bit more. You've got a split here, it lengthen the legs. It shows a leg that is long and slim and gives you height with the court. So all that suddenly changes the whole thing. Look at this, okay? Just look at it. I have not added anything else. Just to can you so you so you can see here just by the right pair of shoe. Look at the style. This dress is no longer frumpy, no longer mumsy, okay? Because of these shoes, something simple like that. So it's something I want to um, to encourage you to do. You know, it's a term that um, you know we can use. Shop your closet. What do you have that you can wear with that dress, okay? And again, either a dress you already have or a dress you want to bring in. Could be this one or could be something else, okay? Because look at what is possible. Now onto something better. So what are the, the footwear that is even better than this? I think these are a step above. Um, these are my uh, belly leather knee length boots and with a stiletto heel, okay? Uh, Amanto, these are not new. They probably, I think probably 18 years or something like that. Just to show you that if you buy something, you know, classic, classic and good quality, they will last. Um, look at this. So again, you've got the split here that gives you um, you know, a sexy vibe when you walk. That is, you know, wow. So look at yourself in the mirror again. You know, I love that. I love this. Again, the dress no longer looks mumsy, no longer, no longer looks, you know, um, dated or looking a little bit um, from on the frumpy side, you see, just because of the footwear. Think about that, you know, something simple as a pair of shoes or a pair of boots. Gosh, just look at that. Okay, I absolutely love that look. And that for the winter, amazing, okay? Uh, you can go to work or you can go out like that. I can go to restaurant, I can go out with my husband, my uh, girlfriends. Wow, I love that look, really nice. So let me know what you think so far, you know, below this video in the comments. And that's all I have added, okay? So now I'm going to show you um, some belts, you know, what could we add to the dress, you know, to style it. So let's have a look. 
Okay, so I choose for you three different belts, okay? Three different black belts <laughs> and the red one, okay? Let's start with the red one because, oh, it's red, you know, let's put it on with the red dress. Okay, let's try it again. You have to try things because, you know, sometimes you think things go, but once you put them on, they don't. So always try things on. I can't advise that enough. Try things on and make the decision yourself because, you know, you can watch a video. Uh, for instance, let's, let's, you know, you're watching my video. You are watching me with my body shape, my height, uh, my size, everything. You're watching my clothes. You are watching my accessories, okay? Obviously, you are a different person. Different body shape, different style, different dress, different accessories, okay? Different coloring. Let's not forget. So things will not look exactly the same on you. So always, always try the look on you, okay? There are many times we see outfits, oh, I love this outfit, oh, on this person, you know, I reproduce it completely to me. And you look at yourself, like, oh, what does it look as good as this person or as this model or something, you know? Okay, because we are all different, things work differently for us. The pieces are not exactly the same. You know, all this matter. So always, 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 use your full length mirror, use your eyes, your eyes, okay? It's very important. I know it's simple advice, but I think many people do not use their eyes. You know, um, you already know a lot of things. You already know, a, you know, you know yourself, okay? Um, so look at yourself in the mirror and decide if it looks good. Decide if it looks good on you. Decide if you love that look on you, okay? Decide if it works. Sometimes we're not quite sure. Usually, if we're not quite sure, it is because it does not work, okay? So try to think that for, that, for a moment. But usually if we think, oh my gosh, it is absolutely amazing. So that works. So, okay, you look at yourself in the mirror. Yeah, step back a few steps. I can't step back too much, as much as I usually do because you won't see me in the video. Um, and you look at that. Okay, I put that red belt. Again, a different red. I do not think it works, okay? But, you know, it could happen that you, you, you buy this dress and you have the, the right color belt. Have a look. Do you like it, you know? Okay, if you like it, wear it. Now I'm going to try, some, try something else with black. Now, I like to show you what works, but I also like to show you what does not work. And this is the things that I've shown you. I've shown you what doesn't work with those nude ballet flats and those red ballet flats and that belt. It is good to show you what does not work because, you know, when you're at home, things may not always work. Um, so, Let's try with the black belt. What I have here, I have a narrow black belt, a medium, and a wider one. Okay, we'll have a look at different looks. Because we can say, wear a black belt. What type of black belt? You know, that reminds me of that film, um, The Devil West Prada. I'm sure you've seen, watched that film. You know, the black belt, the blue belt. Give me the blue belt. Oh, they're so different. Um, <laughs> so, Let's put this belt on, if I can. Okay, there. Um, I have this the thing to hold it in place, but I haven't got it right now. Okay, okay. Look, I'm wearing that thin belt. To me, you know, it goes. But looking at this, I think it is too narrow for the length of a dress. Okay, have a look at that. Okay, what do you think? I think, in my mind, for me, it is too narrow. Okay? Um, so I think it needs you know, a wider belt. So let's have a look at a medium um, width <laughs> belt and see if it gets better. I think it's because, you know, the proportions again, you know, have a look at the length of the dress because it, if a skirt, uh, skirt, I mean, if a skirt is really long, you wear a tiny little belt, it's so, it's like a, something doesn't quite work. Um, it's not quite in the, um, it's too disparate, you know? Okay, in my view, this works better. Please let me know what you think. It works better. The skirt is long, 
um, and it needs something wider than what we had before, and, uh, and that works better. Okay? Uh, yes, if your belt is floppy, just put something to, to stop it here from flopping around, because that annoys me. I don't know about you, that annoys me when things flop like that. So, you know, you put double sided tape or whatever you have. Um, but if I put that and pause, you don't see it. Okay, <laughs> okay, so I can even tighten it up a little bit so that would look even better right there. Okay, and again, the tighter you, you turn it up, you know, woo, you need definitely this magic tape or something. Like that. That, that looks better, what do you think? I think it looks so much better, nice, a bit wider. We're going to try now the wider belt, okay? So it is something, it is an exercise for you, you know, that you can make subtle, you can choose one element, can make subtle changes, but those same changes can have a big impact, okay? Let me know what you think below this video. Um, you can nod as well, <laughs> if you like. Um, so, okay, I have this belt here. Right, so this one's got one of those um, loops, you know, that are tied here to the, end, to the other end of the belt. And if I do that, it keeps things in place. I like that. Um, sometimes these loops fall off or something, but this one is held in place. Um, okay, so that looks good as well. But it depends, of course. You know, let's not forget, for you, if you're petite, this is the, the wrong style. This dress itself is going to be too long for you. Have a look for you, you know. It must not overwhelm your silhouette. If you are tall, again, that would be good because you are tall, you can take a wider belt, okay? Think about the proportion. Um, okay, if you are, you know, if you are wider than me, if you are larger than me, a bigger size than me, you can take something this size as well because it will be more in proportion of your body, okay? Um, so I step back, okay? <laughs> Okay, I think that works as well. I, in my mind, I can wear the medium size and I can wear this one. With this belt, it looks more of a wintry look, okay? I think that looks more wintry. So I would wear that in the autumn or winter, especially with the boots. Um, here it is summer, it's a really dark and rainy day in Normandy uh, this morning. But um, I know for you in Australia it may work because it's your winter. But it's nice to have um, a winter look. This is more of a winter look because it's got a lot of black. I know in the spring summer we don't wear as much black. So that will be more of a winter look. Okay. So I think it really goes. It really looks nice. Okay. Now let's try something else. Let's try something uh, around the neck. Okay. So I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep the belt. Okay, let's have a look at something else. So I've got this beautiful fluffy scarf. I just love that scarf. You put this scarf on and it makes you feel luxurious. It's almost like a chatelaine, you know, somebody at the chateau. Uh, I've got my microphone here. I've got to be careful. Right, so because I've got my microphone, I'm going to be careful, but, you know, looks really nice and because the neckline is plain you can put something like that that would dress it up I really like that it looks really lovely just put a, a coat on wow you know a black coat or a, you can put a gray coat you can put a lighter coat a white coat if you wanted a winter white coat the coat has to be long so it's to be as long as the dress or longer or of course something short a shorter jacket I don't really like the look of, let's, let's say, if you have a coat that is knee length and you wear it with a midi length dress. I don't think it goes. But again, try things on. Does it work for you, for your clothes and everything, okay? And it's, I think this is a good exercise for you in this video because uh, you know me, I like to, I like to teach. <laughs> to teach and show you things. and teach you to, to, how do you say that, to train your eye, to give yourself the critical eye, you know, 
not to criticize, but to critique. There's a big difference with the two, okay? Try always to critique your outfit. Have the eye. Does it work? Does it work? But the really, really good question to ask is why? Why doesn't this work? When this thing works on that person, but not me, okay? And that teaches you so much, so much more. And sometimes we think, oh, I've got nothing in my wardrobe. This doesn't, you know, this doesn't go, this doesn't go. Try things on and you will be surprised. And of course, you know, as always, write things down in your style journal. Okay, you will get many aha moments. So that's a beautiful scarf to have. So now what can we try some more things? Okay. I'm going to try some jackets. So, again, my Chanel style jacket, bouclet jacket, love this jacket. I will replace it eventually for something really uh, in a much better quality. This is quite old now. Okay. You know, again, something, a little tip I wanted to show you. You see, it has long sleeve. But you do that, you do this suddenly, suddenly it looks so much better, a little bit cooler kind of thing, you know? Okay, so I'm gonna put my jacket on and we'll have a look. Again, I have to be careful about my microphone because if you if I put things over it and close over it, it uh, creates some havoc with the sound. So, look. Well, I think it looks really nice. You know, it's a sh again, a short a jacket that goes well. It shows off the dress, um, you know, as a long skirt, you know? <laughs> it shows off the dress as a long skirt. It shows the, the skirt beautiful, beautifully. Again, look at the split here. It gives you that sexy look, okay? Keep it open, keep it closed. Um, you know, for the office, it will be really good. I, I really love that look. I really love that look. And I love that dress. Absolutely love that dress. And let's not forget, red attracts the eye, okay? So, you have something like that that's really attract the eye, it is red, and also you've got the print. All the other pieces, all the accessories, it is better if they are also, you know, if they are simple, okay? Um, because that will be too busy. Okay, so that works with this. Where is my... Oh. Okay, now a blazer, my black blazer, single breasted okay longer than my boucle jacket but you know because this dress is uh, mid-length okay midi it goes it gives you you know enough um as i say you know to keep the proportions together because sometimes you have to be careful with proportions something very important in a, in, a, in an outfit and because you know you have still a long, you know, long part of the dress that works. And it looks uh, very, um, I think it looks a, a little equestrian. Well, that's great. Um, so that really, really works. It looks really good. I wanted to give you a little added thing as well. You know, we have a belt and you have a long, Let's say you have a long jacket. This will not work on this blazer. It has pockets and, you know, it doesn't look good. But let's say you have a long jacket like this. And this is nice jacket because, nice blazer to have because it is dipped in at the waistline. Okay. Try to wear clothes that are nipped in like that at the waistline, you know, when you have your jacket and coat. Um, because, you know, it gives you a nice outline gives you a nice eyeglass outline that's another tip i'm giving you so many tips today but um it's, it's you, you need to know to know that okay and you can put a belt on okay so i've got to be careful because i've got you know the, the box here for my microphone but let's say you have the right jacket again i repeat this does not work with this blazer because i have the pockets but Let's say you're wearing a jacket that has not got pockets here, so that would not clash with the belt. Um, you know, you could have a belt like this over it. I mean, I could even, you know, tighten it up a little bit, but again, I've got my, the box of, for my micro microphone, so I can't do that. But 
you know, that could work. Or maybe a, it could be a cardigan, you see, a cardigan of that length. And then you could add a belt here. So that's something that could work. Again, try things on. Maybe the belt is, could be too wide, too narrow. Have a look, okay? Again, you try things on. I can't advise you that enough, okay? Um, so it's you know, so very well to have uh, ideas with outfits. You know, when you watch our videos and we show you outfits, it's very good because it gives you ideas, okay? But the advice that you need on top of that is have a look at your wardrobe. As you know, um, you know, it's called shop your wardrobe. That means have a look at what you've got and try things on in a different way. Pick one thing after the other, okay? So that works. And I like as well, you know, you can bring the color up if you want. Bring your, your uh, sleeves up, do what you want. I think it, it's really nice. What I would not work with, what I would not wear with this dress is, for instance, um, something in print, you know, something in Czech, um, in stripes, you know, um, a Czech jacket, a Prince de Galles, or something like this. That, that, that would, I think, clash with the print. So think about things like that, you know. Have a look. When I wear something that has a print and I'm looking for a jacket, you know, I'm going to go for something that is not, um, that is in one solid color. Oh, actually, I'm going to show you with that gray jacket. Okay, let's have a look. So I've got this gray jacket here. Okay. It's a tweed jacket from Bowden. It's a beautiful jacket. Absolutely beautiful. This is quality uh, jacket in wool. Absolutely beautiful. You know, I, I, I don't do, I do not like the look. I do not like the look together. I think it does not look good together at all. Okay. It could be because it's gray and the boots are black. Um, I do not like the look at all, but it gives you a, a direction to go to, you know, I thought, so I looked at the gray jacket, uh, I don't think it's going to go. But, you, you know, it could work in case it worked. And I said, mm, no, you know, I wouldn't know. So in order to be sure, put it on and then it is certain for you it does not work. OK. Um, and because it has chevron in the tweed, you know, I think it could be too much because that's another print. Let's not forget that some fabrics can add as a print. OK can act as a print. It does not go. Okay, but at least I have the certitude that it doesn't work for me. <laughs> yes, I'm looking at myself, but there's nothing. It's just getting a habit now. I'm looking at myself in the mirror. Okay, now we've done, we've done the shoes, we've done the jackets, we've done the scarf, um, the belts, and now, uh, ah, so I've got two things. I've got two shirts or blouses and a sweater. Okay, as you know, there are many dresses that we can use also as skirts. They can double up as skirts, and these definitely can. So the easiest way to do it is wearing a sweater over it, okay? So one of this, as it's going to be worn in the winter, you know, do you have a, I'm choosing black sweater. If I chose the winter white, you will see the print, and you will see the red through it. So the black one is the best color you can um, wear with that. But of course, you know better, you know better, you will try it on, you know, with winter white and ensure that, you know, whether it works or not. Okay, so having said that, woo! Normal sweater, this one's a merino sweater and I don't even remember who it's from, where it's from. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, this one is Uniqlo. And, you know, turtle neck, okay, put it on, and of course, the dress becomes a skirt. So, again, it doubles it up, because you have a dress, but you also have a skirt, okay? It is so basic, it's so simple, I know you know that, but it is worth remembering. So, suddenly, you have a sweater, a skirt, and those boots, okay? So, that's another outfit, and you can wear, you know, a uh, jacket over it. You can wear what you want in that um, coat. So 
You can wear also a crew neck sweater with that fur scarf if you wanted to, okay? You have many options. It's sometimes we think, you know, we think, oh, we don't, I don't have much. I don't have this piece and that piece and that piece. You know, French chic is essentially a capsule wardrobe. Most of our things work together. And I like to say that 80% of your pieces in a French chic wardrobe, capsule wardrobe, okay, will be classic, timeless, okay? And maybe 20%, maybe less, will be, uh, or maybe a little bit more, will be trendy, will be modern, will have something, whoa, you know, and that's great because if you have your, if your wardrobe is 100% timeless and classic, you know, it can work. But, you know, now and again, you like something that pipes you up, you know, something maybe in a bright color. You know, in my wardrobe, I've also got, you know, not many pieces, but I've got um, one or two pieces that are purple. Straight away, I can see here, I've got a, a purple blouse. I've got a purple scarf and I've got some pink. I love bright pink and it suits me. Purple suits me, okay? But I've also got a little bit of green, okay? These are part of the French colors. Um, you know, and I've got some red. But also it could be maybe some prints, you know, some modern prints, some prints that are trendy just for a season. Doesn't matter as long as it works for you. You know, always make your wardrobe what works for you. So let's say, you know, frills, you like frills, but they're not going to last too long for, you know, for too many seasons. Let's say they will work for two or three seasons. So you buy something in frills, you wear it, and that's the part of the 20% that you know is not going to be timeless because, you know, a couple of seasons, it's not going to be print. It's going to be something else. But you can, but because the rest, you know, the 80% of your wardrobe is classic and timeless, you can wear that with some of your pieces and probably a lot of other pieces, okay? But if your wardrobe is 100% timeless, classic, simple, in one solid color, blah, 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 it may become a little bit stale, okay? It may become a little bit, mm, you know, it needs something. Mm. Now and again, you need to inject something new into your wardrobe, okay? So it's nice to think about something like that. Okay, so now we've seen the sweater over it. It could be also, don't forget, it could be a cardigan also. Um, now let's have a look at what you could wear under the dress because it has a crew neckline, so you could wear something with a, a neckline that pops over the top. And the first one is this one, this little blouse. I'm going to close the camera. so that you, when you have it under the dress, you can see just, you know, the neckline, the round neckline here, and you've got one button, you may see one button. Um, and it adds a little bit of interest at the neckline. As I said, there's nothing at the neckline, but it could be, you know, a scarf you could wear, okay? So if you're going to wear a scarf, you need to have something probably in black and white, Again, the red, you know, might be uh, very difficult to, you know, to, to match and it will be close to the red. So you have to be careful with that. But you could choose something in black and white. Those two colors together, but not something with small motif because it's a small motif. You need something with a large motif and something that clashes with what you have. So this one is floral. So you can go, for instance, in your scarf for instance, stripes, okay? So that's something to think about. Again, put it around your neck and look. If it does not look good, don't wear it. If it looks great, wear it, okay? So that's another idea. Another idea is to put something else. So again, I'm gonna go close to the camera. Is this lacy blouse. I've had this blouse for years. Um, and um, you know, it's got freely Let's have a look closer. It's got freely sleeves, uh, freely uh, cuffs here. 
and it has a long neckline, long collar. Okay, so that it adds interest here. But you know, you pull your sleeves a little bit, and you can show more of that curve. That curve is delightful. It's beautiful. I love this little frizz at the end. That is really, really lovely. So you know, you can show some at here at the at the wrist, but also here at the neckline. So these are the things that. You know, we don't always think about when we have a dress. I think that was a good exercise. And we went from that dress be looking frumpy, I think. Mumsy, certainly. And a little bit, you know, aging. And we went to something that is quite sexy, you know, with a belt and with a woohoo. And don't forget to a slit. Make it work. Make it work with a pair of heels. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will add some links to the various bits and pieces I, that were shown today in this video. Give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please share this video to your many friends. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Au revoir.